Good morning. It is July 31st of 2021. How are you all doing today? I hope you are blessed. Um, I love you all dearly and I hope you truly are doing well in your lives and with your loved ones. So um, I wanted to come on today um, before I even get started. I had such great sleep and I have to give all the praise, glory, honor to our Heavenly Father and to Jesus Christ because it obviously had the sleep I got was from our Heavenly Father. It had, and I'll explain to you about that shortly because um, I was going through some experiences and, and, and I'm just thankful that he gave me the, the, the joy, peace and rest I needed um, while I was going through that. So yes, I'll explain that to you shortly. But yes, um, I greet you all with a, with a holy kiss, with a holy, holy kiss. And I submit myself to you all to bring you um, what I'm about to deliver to you shortly here. But yeah, just hope you're all doing well and you're safe. And always remember, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing, as the Thessalonians says. And you know, Jesus Christ has said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but by me. And in God's word, in his wonderful holy scriptures, he, he has also said in his word, we will have salvation. It is by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ will we have salvation. Amen. Amen. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get started. I, I have to tell you. Okay, so I'll tell you, I was mentioning earlier that um, a moment ago about how I, I'm surprised I had some great sleep, that I had great sleep. And yes, I am surprised I actually had that great sleep following what occurred. So this morning, again, today is July 21st, 2021. So in the middle of the night when I was sleeping this morning, um, I, I was sleeping and I immediately had entered into spiritual realm. You know, sometimes I've shared with you that sometimes I just enter into spiritual realm not knowing that I'm there. Well, I, I, I realized that I had woken up within the spiritual realm. And when I had opened my eyes within the spiritual realm, I literally could see exactly where I was sl sleeping in the natural. So I, I just, um, I, um, I just knew I, I, I was actually sleeping on my couch. So that you know, and in the spiritual realm, I saw myself on the couch. And what, what, what do you know, with me, not not on the couch, but on um, um, near near the couch that I was on, this um, evil, this evil entity, this being had showed up in the spiritual realm and it came to attack me because like I said, I just woke up in the realm, didn't realize it, but the, the, the devil had a plan. He was clearly um, watching me. So he was ready to attack me in the spiritual realm while I was asleep. So he just caught me right there in, in that moment. I woke up in the realm and there I was, saw myself on the couch sleeping and right there just looking looking at the face of this evil being whether it was a demon a demon or an evil entity don't know what it was but it was obviously an evil an evil spirit and it was it was attacking me and all uh, all with all humility i have to thank our heavenly father and jesus christ because it's not by my strength it is by the strength of jesus christ amen amen because i had no fear at all when I saw this, this being, because I was surprised when I literally woke up in the realm, like I said, looking at this being attacking me. And then I just, I, when I just knew in that moment, then I just called, I called the name of Jesus with, with, with his strength, not my strength, because my, my flesh cannot do anything. It is the strength because I'm, I'm weak without Christ. We are weak without Christ. Amen. Amen. It is the strength of Christ that I, that I got out the words, Jesus. And when I said Jesus, not a surprise, you all in instantly, right then that evil spirit was gone just like that. And again, the fact that I didn't have any fear where I, when I should have, because I was surprised when I literally had opened my eyes in the spiritual realm and there was this evil spirit right there attacking me. And I called with the strength of Christ. I called the name of Jesus and boom, it was gone. Whew. Again, what have I said before? Jesus, his name is power. His name is a strong tower. The righteous run to him and are safe. Amen. Amen. Woo. And also it just brings me to a scripture that I've shared with you before in God's word. It, 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 um, it says um, um, one of the one of the prophets um, had said in, uh, in God's word, he had said that there was a messenger of Satan 
that came to buffet him, that came to be a, a thorn in his flesh. And, and he asked Jesus Christ to relieve him three times. And Jesus Christ said to the prophet, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. That is what Jesus Christ said. Again, Jesus Christ said, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. And I shared that scripture with you because in, 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 in any time I'm dealing with going through spiritual war, wolf, warfare, I'm dealing with the enemy at, attacking me. It is, it's my flesh is weak, but it's the strength of Christ, his strength. His strength is what is what is helping me, is what's helping us all. Those of you out there that are also going through the same thing. Amen. Amen. So we give all the, um, the glory, the, the love, the honor, the praise and worship to our Heavenly Father and to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And also to continue on into the scripture. So when Jesus Christ had said, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. And the... Uh, the prophet and and I believe this was Paul that was saying this and then he can Paul Paul had said um, it, he had said in in his in it is with um with him with in within his infirmities that that the power of Christ rests on him it's within his infirmities that the power of Christ rests on him so he does not he both he both does not boast in himself but rather boast in his infirmities so that the power of Christ may rest on him. Woo, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that powerful? Our, our, our love, our beautiful, 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 the, the beautiful prophets that, that just did the will of our father and our father instilling his words, his words in, in, within them to put this on in the scriptures for us. Oh. Just brings me to another scripture. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. In God's word in Hebrews, um, it, 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 does, um, it's, it says, the word, the word of God is, is powerful and alive. The word of God is powerful and alive, sharper than a two-edged sword. Sharper than a two-edged sword. Piercing, it, it's gonna, it pierces the, um, the soul and the spirit. And also pierces, um, it, it divides, it divides the soul and spirit and divides the joint and marrow. And it's also a discerner of the thoughts within our hearts. That is the word of God. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, to, for bringing that to my memory. And I wanted to share that with you all. And again, you'll find that in Hebrews. So yes, let me get on to the reason why I'm posting um, this this video. So hmm. I've I've been doing some research on this person, and um, I'll, I'll I'll jump into her shortly. But I have I have to tell you, I when I just shared with you a moment ago that I got spiritually attacked is because the devil knows that I was going to deliver this message about this person today. So he, that's why he attacked me this morning, um, was, you know, trying to obviously break me down, but that's not going to happen, right? Because my, our strength and my strength is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our faith is in Christ. He's the one that, um, the, um, delivers, delivers us for in God's word, it says the righteous, the righteous, the righteous, if they fall, but then the righteous, they fall seven times. And they get back up. Amen? Amen. So, yes, the devil knew I was going to deliver this message to you all today about this person. And um, I'm going to speak about two people. But the, the first person I'm going to speak to was had someone else she was talking about in her video. And then I'll also share with you about that other person. But this main person, I'll let you know um, about her. Uh, but leading up to, before I get into this... Yes, this week was the week of, whew, this was the week of weeks, let me tell you. When I say that, where the devil is, unfortunately, he is working um, working through people. And when I say unfortunately, it breaks my heart to those that have not given themselves to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
You know, what God says in his word, we're either children, we are children of God, or we're the cho children of the devil. So those that um, are, are not of Christ, the devil easily uses. He, he uses them to watch us, children of God, and to just to, to cause, to, 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 to cause, cause, try to bring afflictions th towards us. And, and we go through these trials and tribulations because of the evil things that the devil is working through through people but as I always say at the end of the day God says that we we are to love everyone we're, that is what we are called to do as children of God right in God's word he says love your enemies love your enemies and bless those that curse you so even though these people do these things to us and we know it's because it's it's the devil working through them um, because again God's word it says we we are we're we're not children of the night but we are of the day we are children of the day and not of the night. Amen. Amen. And we have the light and that light is Jesus Christ. And that light is within us, the body of Christ, my brethren, my beloved. Amen. Amen. So yes, the light um, fights against the, the darkness, right? It's and, and that's a continuous thing until the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ comes back to 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 cleanse us of all these this wickedness and the evilness so yeah um this was the week of weeks where i was i was definitely getting getting watched by people and let me just jump into give you some dates and times so on let's see what day here on um actually um on the on the 30th is what i wanted to say yes on the on the 30th I was, um, I had this, well, let me start on, we'll start on the, the 29th, July 29th of 2021. There's, um, there's this, this woman, um, I, um, I know the Lord has been warning me about this woman. She has a habit of, she'll be, I'll be walking by me and staring at me, wanting her to make herself known that she's staring at me. And I've shared with you about this several times that this is just the devil working through people to try to, 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 to rile us up, right? To rile, rile, our, rile, up, um, the, rile, rile up our spirit. But, you know, we have the Holy Spirit, right, within us, who is our, the spirit of righteousness, right? The Holy Spirit is, 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 is from our Heavenly Father, is of truth, and, and that is of truth and comfort. And the Holy Spirit always comforts us. So um, with humility, I was blessed and thankful that I didn't allow her to do that because she was this, she was very much in the habit of wanting to um, get my attention by the, the, when she, the time she was taking the walk by, she would be, she would have to have her head turn and, and be looking right at me for absolutely no reason. And she knew what she was doing. And then, um, and, and I say that because um, on the, on, the 29th, um, this woman was uh, exiting, ex was exiting where I was located, and she literally um, had her back turned and was literally staring at me like you could count time. It was like you know, it was almost like in slow motion. She just stood there and stared at me, was just staring at me, wanting me to really look at her to to wanting my de my attention my attention desperately seeking my attention and the the, the the wisdom of our heavenly father he just had me ignore her he nope I didn't even bother giving her that attention I just was minding my business doing what I was doing and she gave up and just ended up walking away so that that did not did not work and I thank our heavenly father for that but again this is just a devil um, when de when there's demons working in people, unfortunately, this is what they do. They they always watch the body of Christ, the children of God. They have to make themselves known that that they're they're around us and and watching us. But remember, our, we don't fear, right? We have no fear because the fear is from the devil. So because God says, uh, Jesus Christ has said in His in His Word, "Be anxious in nothing, have no fear." Let your heart not be troubled. That's what Jesus Christ has said. Let your heart not be troubled. Have no fear. Be anxious in nothing, but in everything, through prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Bless and we're thankful for him. All right. So yeah, wanted to share that with you. And then also, um, then um, yesterday, which was July thirtieth of, of um, July thirtieth of twenty twenty one, I was at a, a 
at, at a location, a different location. And then there's this young man just following me, just making a point to follow me wherever I was at in that, if I would go to one part of that area, a, a, the one part of a different area, he would have a reason to be there. He was just following me. Him too, wanting to get this, get the the same attention. So th you know, this is the, this is the spirit of the devil. You know that the devil, or whether the, the 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 demons within these people, they are all they're all they all have the same characteristics. They have to get your attention and want to get you aggravated. And this young man was following me to the point where wherever I was, he would kept he kept he would pace like so close to me and. Uh, that he wanted to, he wanted me to say something. I just knew it. Our Heavenly Father was, was making it known to me that, oh, this guy wants, wanted me to like lash out. And, you know, we have to have the character of Christ. And, you know, with the fruits of the Spirit is that, 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 that gentleness, that kindness. And boy, this, the, the devil was trying to really tempt me. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for that word. He was trying to tempt me to to be the opposite of Christ that that on the on yesterday, July thirtieth of twenty twenty one, and I just was at peace with our with our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ within us, right? Because our Heavenly Father, Jehovah, and Jesus Christ, they they abide within us, and we abide within them. Amen. Amen. So yeah, this gentleman just kept walking by me, getting into my personal space, walking back, back and forth, wanting to get my attention. I just ignored him, continued to ignore him because he was trying to aggravate me. And at, and at some point he, he gave up and then he walked off. So that those are two perfect examples of two different people doing literally almost the same thing, wanting to get attention. And and I share this with you all, but hoping that this edif continues to edify you, that you are not alone in this. You know, we, we, we are persecuted uh, for for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ has said, if they hated me first, they will hate you also. They persecuted me, they will persecute you also. So we know who we are in Christ with all humility. Amen. Amen. And the devil knows who we are as well. So that is why we go through these, um, these, these things, um, and, um, these, these, the spiritual, we are literally in a spiritual battle at all times and sometimes are stronger than others. And I just wanted to share those with you. So, yeah. So now let me just mark that one off. So I can let you know that I shared that with you then. Okay, now let let me get into what this the, what, what who this person I needed to speak with you about is. So, the person I'm I'm speaking to you about is her name is Nastasia Grace. Her first name is spelled N as in Nancy, A S T as in Tom, A S I A. Last name is Grace. That's G R A C E. That is the name of her one of her YouTube channels and then she has another YouTube channel that she that is called Grace and Beyond. So Lord, Heavenly Father had, had brought her you her uh, brought this her brought her into my YouTube feed because I had no idea to who she was um, some time ago until she just showed up I was like oh who's this person and then as the Lord just Holy Spirit within me just said was letting me know that I, I just knew and I just knew that I couldn't trust this person. That's what that was what I was getting from the Holy Spirit. My spirit was not was not was not uh, was not trusting. I just when I saw her for the uh, if it was not the first video I saw her possibly the second video or later on down within the first video I saw of hers, I just knew that something was not right about her. And, and this isn't the first time, as you know, several videos I've shared of, of, of unfortunate, um, false, false, false people that I've had to share with you that the Lord has brought to me that I um, must deliver to you by his will. Amen. Amen. Because in God's word, what does it say? In Timothy, thank you, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ for this reminder. In Timothy, God um, has said in his word, he, he has saved us. He has called us with the Holy holy calling he has saved us he has called us with the holy calling not by our works but by his own purpose by his own grace which was given to us given to us by our lord and savior jesus christ before time began amen amen and i've shared with you several times in god's word it says he works in us but to will 
and do for his good pleasure. So I'm coming to you by doing his will. So yes, regarding Nastasia Grace, um, I'm, and that's the YouTube channel I'm speaking about right now um, because let me t let me let me tell you um, I I when I said that of her she, she came into my YouTube feed and I began to uh, Father Heavenly Father was just putting it on my heart that okay I need you I need you to pay attention and and take a look at this person so I began to do that and that's how I knew instantly something was wrong there with her and then. As I was watching a video of hers, I literally, I, I fell asleep because at, before I fell asleep, I was, I would, that's began where I began to study, to just study and see what our heavenly father, what to, so he can provide me his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of her. And I just fell asleep. And then the, so the, the night I'm speaking of is June 6th of 2021 at 10 32 PM. Um, I had a dream. And, and that was when I actually, I had woken up. So at 1032 was the time I woke up from this dream. So the dream was off, obviously before this time, but I just wanted to give you the time window of when I had this dream on June 6th of 2021. So I'll tell you about the dream. So in the dream, I was in a gas station, in a gas station, um, in the store of the gas station, and I was buying some candy. And, and when I was going to pay pay for them, uh, pay for the candy. It was just one packet of, um, of candy I was buying. Um, and at the back, I was just checking it to make sure it was in good condition before I bought it. And I noticed that it, um, just to see if it was damaged or anything. And I noticed that it was dirty. Um, it, it had water damage on it. So ha I had told the teller and then she came over to see, um, to take a look at it. And, and she then began to look of, look for some other candy that, that would replace that one for me. She was look trying. She was looking for the same one that would replace that one for me, and then she there wasn't one of the same kind that I wanted to purchase that was water damaged. So she ended up finding another one to replace it. But then there was two, there was two different packets, and and then she, um, she then she gave gave to. I guess that's what she was going to give to me. I don't want to say I guess, but that's what she gave me to me were the two packets to replace the water damaged one that I wanted to purchase. So I made the, I, then I was looking at it and I thought, well, um, uh, um, that, which was she, that's what she gave to me to exchange for the water damaged one. So did she know? So I ended up changing my mind because I decided, well, I don't need these two packets. I just need one. So, um, I had asked her if I could just have half price. Um, for the one and what was funny was I actually remembered the cents it was 94 cents initially for the damaged one so I asked her if she could just give me half price of 94 cents that way I would just have take the the one replacement instead of the one replacement instead of the two so as we were talking and and um, and then in my mind, I was they also think like it would be a good time to get some change coins too so I can just have on, on my on my person and then at that time, she had seen some people coming in, coming in into the gas station store. So then she had to go to another location and so that people, people have, were purchasing things and were ready to pay. So next, you know, I was in that, in the line of people um, ready to pay for um, the, the, the packet um, of candy that she, that I was going to purchase for half price. And then and when it was my turn, when after whoever was in front of me had done paying, then the teller had asked me for the clothes that I was going to donate because apparently I brought some clothes there too that I was going to donate at that time too. And then, um, then I noticed the clothes that I was going to give to her to donate. I had accidentally left it in the at the at the other side of the store where um, I had picked up the candy where her and I were at talking about the candy that I was going to exchange where that damaged um, candy was. So that was on the other side of the store. So I ended up getting out of the line because I had to go get the, the clothes I was going to gonna go donate. So uh, when I left to go to go pick up the clothes, guess who I saw? I saw Nastasia Grace there. And even in the dream, I was surprised to see her like, I was not expecting to see her in my dream. And she was sitting um, at a table. Or there was just, or not, a, maybe it was, there was a table, but I was definitely saw her sitting down on a chair. She was sitting down um, there just looking at me. And then I noticed 
I when I saw her, she had just like immediately sat down like like she did something. I knew she had done something because I could tell by her face, by her eyes that that she had done something bad and was trying to pretend like like um, she didn't do what she had done. She didn't want to be caught, so that's why she sat down so quickly when she saw me. And when I looked over to go get the clothes, I noticed the clothes were gone, and instantly I knew that she was the one that took that took the clothes. So I and I told her, and she and she was being so pretentious because I was looking at her, at her in the face. I was looking at her in her eyes, and I and, and I knew she was lying because she just had this pretentious look and this no, I oh I didn't do anything look on her face like. Like it's not me, but it, she was just the deception in her eyes was so was so strong, it, she couldn't hide it. She was trying to hide it, but I saw it so clearly in the dream, and I knew that she was lying, and I knew she she took those clothes, and she um and and was acting like she didn't take it. So, and then, um, and then um, I'm just reading my notes here, apparently. Oh, so yeah. And then when I knew after that, I just knew that she had taken it and, and she acted like she didn't take it. But I knew because like I said, she sit down. That's the reason why she sat down immediately when I first saw her, because that was the time when she had grabbed the clothes, sat down and she had to have hit. Then she had to have hit it in, hit in the clothes so I wouldn't see those clothes. That's why she sat down so quickly. She didn't want to be caught in what in, in in the stealing of the of those clothes I was I was gonna donate to this to the store. So yeah. And and then at the oh my goodness Lord thank you for this reminder. So that dream ended and right after that I literally went into I entered this the dream ended and I went into the spiritual realm. I was getting attacked. So I was going through spiritual warfare and there was an evil spirit because I, well, mind you, when I was dreaming, I was laying on the couch. I was dreaming. So in the spiritual realm, I saw, I was saw, I saw myself in the couch at nighttime because it was also nighttime, of course, because remember I said it was 10 32 PM when I woke up in the spiritual realm. It was, I saw exactly where I was in the realm on the couch sleeping. And I woke up in the realm, spiritual realm, and I felt an evil presence there. I didn't see this evil spirit, uh, whether it was a demon or evil spirit or entity. I didn't see it, but I felt the presence. And, and immediately in the spiritual realm, I said, stop it. <laughs> and I, cause I knew it was there. I literally said the words, stop it. And it, and it, because I felt the presence was near, was around me. And then, and then I, and then I had said, Jesus, I said, Jesus, and then it was gone. And then I woke up. And that was the end of that dream. Hmm. So when I woke up to the dream, let me tell you this, you all. I woke up, I opened my eyes and I was looking. Remember I said prior to going to dream, I was I was studying um, Nastasia, N N Nastasia Grace, Grace's YouTube channel. That's the title of her YouTube channel, Nastasia Grace. I was studying one of her videos. So when I woke up, after I left the spiritual realm and back in the natural, and I was looking at, at my TV screen and Nastasia was on the screen. Oh my Lord, let me tell you, Heavenly Father, huh? Holy Spirit was like my, the Holy Spirit within me was seeing Nastasia Grace as seen, I just seen her spirit. I felt her spirit. And I'm going to explain to you because when I was back in the natural, woke up, looked at the TV screen. I'm going to give you the name of this video I was watching. It's called Watch Watch for the Schools. There, there will be a catch. Nastasia Grace. And that was published June 4th of 2021. I was literally watching. That was the video that happened to pop up as, as I had woken up. And and I had teared up watching this video. Like the Holy Spirit was working in me. I was I began to tear up because as I was watching her video, I was looking into her eyes and those her eyes in the video was showing this strong gaze and the gaze not in, not in a positive way like in a negative way like it was a stare she has this stare in her eye like this darkness in her eye uh, when when I when I was watching this video and it was literally the same stare the look that she was giving me in the dream when she had stolen those donation clothes I was going to give to the teller in that gas station store in the dream and and it was so strong in the video when i was watching the video uh, the i mean that's why i began to tear i had tears 
I teared up watching that video because it was so strong. And the Holy Spirit was, uh, was, I had righteous anger. The Holy Spirit was righteously angry because he, he knew he's, he, he was showing me that the, um, the, the, the deception in, within her, the, the darkness within her eyes, that, that gaze that she has. And oh my goodness, I noticed at the 928 mark time in this video of hers, um, she had said, Lord, help us, help us, Lord. De and, and when she said that, I knew that she was deceiving, she was lying. She's saying, Lord, help us, but she's, she's, she's doing what she, this video, these videos that she does is for dishonest gain. That's what I was getting from the Holy Spirit, that um, um, she's not genuine about when she speaks about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I just knew that and wanted to tell you that, yeah, that was the video I had of her. Or that, that was the dream I had about her. And then upon watching that video, the Holy Spirit was just, Heavenly Father was making it clear to me that I woke you up so you can see this video that, because nothing happens for coincidence, nothing's a coincidence. This video didn't just happen to pop up and that was the video that I saw. No, Lord purposely placed that video. Again, it's titled, Watch for the Schools. There will be a catch, Nastasia Grace. That's the title of that video. That was the video the Lord had put up for me to see about her because she was she's just she's pretentious. And her being pretentious, I can see that in the spirit in her eyes, in, a, in the spirit in the spiritual realm, I can see in her eyes that she's she's pre very pretentious. Um, she's doing these things for dishonest gain, and 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 this is not about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is for she does what she does. When she, when I say she does what she does, she comes to, to, um, to YouTube to, for these videos for dishonest gain, not for our heavenly father, not for our heavenly father and not for our Lord and savior, Jesus Christ. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you. So now let me get into some other videos I wanted to mention to you or about her too. There's another video that is called, we are surrounded. Another video of hers called we are surrounded be ready this was published july 7th of 2021 at the 11:26 mark she she said thousands of angels in heaven praise god for one saved soul and i'm just telling you, I'm, I'm 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 telling you these times now because when she's speaking there's it, there's this is not the holy spirit speaking this is just someone speaking to to just say to say to say things to um vainly speaking is what she's just doing just to say that yes i know scripture and um she wants you to she wants she, she wants you to gain she wants oh thank you father in heaven she wants to gain your trust so she's gonna be be scriptured with her words but then in the spirit i see that it's not genuine it's just pretensions so i noticed that when she said that at that mark and at the eleven thirty one time mark um she said um, she oh she didn't say this but I just noticed I was studying her her body language she was just look looking away and and back in the camera again not genuine I could just see the gaze and then she in her eyes and then just she was licking her lips and looking away and back again at the camera and th and then she had said all right I just want you to watch this video again share it I'm gonna tell you this what she now. The, the devil comes as an angel of light, right? And you know this is in Corinthians. Do, do not do not marvel because the devil comes as an angel of light and his ministers, they come as ministers of righteousness and their end will be according to their works. So I say this because, yes, she's, she's a, she is a beautiful woman, but she knows how to, to get your attention. She knows how to use her, her looks to get your attention and she knows this i'm just letting you know that so i just want to share that with you because the lord was making that clear to me that she knows what she's doing she knows that very well then at the um then um so yeah she had said all right i just want you to watch this video again share it and at the 11 40 and, and then no, notice too as a child of god you I, you'll just notice in her video, she likes to, she likes to want you to share, share, share her videos. When you're a child of God, it, and it, understandably, you know, we are in a world where it's important that we tell people to, to, 
to know how to get to our videos and, and make it known. But she's doing this again for dishonest gain. That's why she's wanting you to share this information. So several of her videos, she does this quite a bit where she wants you to share, share and, and like so that you know that. And then at the 1148 mark, um, that this is where she said, subscribe, leave a like, press that like button. Even you don't see the numbers change on my end, I can see it and their, their, and their algorithm has to accept it. So this is just, thank you, Father, for having me write this down, but this is just a perfect example of what she's saying. So again, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, would not have the need to, to continuously have to tell you all to do that. And it's understandable when you do it, but when you're doing it so much in all your videos, it's it's not genuine. It comes to a point where you're not genuine about what, about if, if God, if, if you're saying God is sending you to, to do his will, well, how genuine are you when you're continuously having to tell people to like, subscribe, you know what I mean? It's it's just not genuine, and and you'll be you'll be able to just pay attention in her in in her videos. It may not be every video, but I've just noticed several of her videos. It's just she pointed out quite a bit that that's how she needs to get all those views. So um, I'm gonna give you some scripture that's gonna tie into that too. So uh, the next video I wanted to tell you about what, that's titled of hers. It is titled "What They Don't Want Us to Do." She brought the fire. Has, hashtag Nastasia Grace. This was published June 23rd of 2021. At the 10 second time mark, she said, so I don't know that I, excuse me, I'll start again. She said, so I know that I promised you all that I would help you or show you some other voices in this time that are speaking the truth, that are not, at, not ashamed of the gospel, that are not ashamed to tell Yah's people the truth whether they like it or not. And then at the 48 time mark, then she also said, this woman of God, she brings the fire. I'm telling you, at the two, three second time mark, she, she said, so, so just watch this video. Just see how God is speaking to his people and appreciate what it is. And then at the 227 time mark, um, she then had, she had put a video in her video. And this, what was playing in the video is, um, is, a um, a woman uh, that calls herself a prophetess. She calls herself prophet, prophetess Dr. Mate Notich. That is spelled, first name spelled M as Mary, A-T-T-I-E. Last name Notich, N-O-T-T-A-G-E. So the video um, she, that Nastasia had placed within her video w w um, was of this prophetess. And this prophetess has a ministry that's called Mate Notich Ministries International. So you can check that out for yourself so you can watch, watch what was that on, in that video. And, in, in, and Mate was saying, this prophetess Mate was saying, had said at the five time mark, she said, and listen to this, they are all telling you to take the V, but now they're telling us also that we don't know if the vaccine that was, that just came out is going to be able to fight the new strain of a vid that just came out and i'm saying vid i just don't want to spell say the whole word it's spelled c-o-v-i-d that just came out and and she's she was just telling um telling that that what um that that and then she had said what is that telling you that that we need god so that sounds great so far right and then at the 522 here's the thing so nastasia is 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 now referencing this this um Mate prophetess, this Mate Mate, she's referring you to referring you to her to like go watch her videos. That oh, this is a prophetess of the Lord, as she, as Nastasia mentioned that yes, this this woman brings the fire that, that God is speaking through His people. So he, she, Nastasia is saying that this 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 prophetess Mate is of the Lord. Then at the five twenty two mark. Um, Mate is, is starts to speak in, in tongues and tongues that are, are, are tongues that there's no interpreter. So I don't know what she's saying and she there's no interpreter to interpret what she's saying. So scripture talks about that. You need to have an interpreter if you, you're supposedly speaking in, in tongues. Right. But I'm going to give you some more scripture about that shortly here. 
And then, at, then after that, she, fin she after she was f speaking in tongues, then she, um, then she says, "Oh my Lord!" Now, when I say the tongues she's speaking in, these are not the tongues of our heavenly Father. The, you, these are false tongues. They're, they're just words and letters, just, not even words. They're just um, letters that are just bumbled up together, and no one understands what what she's saying. So again. Heavenly Father, Father has made it clear in the scriptures that if you're if you're if you're speaking in tongues, right, we you need to have an interpreter. But I'm gonna go into. But these aren't the tongues of our of our Father in heaven. These are the these are the devil's tongues. I just want to make sure you understand that. So she and then after she finished speaking in tongues, she said, then she says, "Oh my Lord," that's her way of just saying like, "Oh, this these tongues are from the Lord," and I I wasn't believing that, but I'm just letting you know that this woman is not of our Lord. So for Nat Natasha to to offer you this offer this pro this prophetess Mat Matinatich to you as a woman of God who is not, then um, I that that's that's a huge concern for me. But I'm gonna give you more about this prophetess Natich. That's not the only thing that. I, I noticed about her that the Lord has made it clear to me that she's not of our Heavenly Father. So I um, wanted to uh, continue on then regarding Natasia. So in this, in, in, and then there was another video Natasia made. It is titled Shocking Revelation Confirmation. It is coming. And in, in this video, um, you'll see, You'll see that it's it her it's a it's in the video there's in the thumbnail you'll see guess who's in that thumbnail Carrie Ann Gideon I've talked with you about Carrie Ann Gideon before so in Natasha's thumbnail Carrie Ann Gideon is in that thumbnail and then she so she also noted in the thumbnail sister Carrie Ann is not it's not lying true prophetess three days of darkness. So I've already shared you a video about Carrie Ann Gideon being false. So Lord works <laughs> all the depths of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. That is in Romans. And God, our Heavenly Father, he it's 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 not a coincidence that I, I already shared a video with you about Carrie Ann and then and then here's Nastasia Grace speaking about Carrie Ann and then calling saying that Carrie Ann is is not lying is not lying. So let me tell you, let me tell you more about this video. At the 6:59 time mark, Natasia says, and as I said, this was from the 29th of March 2016. During this time mark was when she was talking about a dream. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because when she was saying that, she was pausing, closing her eyes, putting her lips together, back and forth. She does these things because, again, she knows about her beauty, and that's her way of using using that to entice you, to lure you in. So just wanted to know, point that out again to you that I've, I've noticed that about her. And then she also said, the 29th, the 29th of March, 2016, and then she paused again looking at the camera and looking down. I just, I knew that she was being deceptive and there was something about this, this date because she, because she would be looking, she, when she was looking down, she's pausing. She's wants to reference this, this March 29th, 2016 date for some reason. There's some reason and there's some deception about this date that, that she's, the, the reason why she's behaving, having all these mannerism and characteristics about her that are deceptive. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Then, then at the nine minute and eight time mark, she said, as I watch Sister Carrie Ann Gideon, because I follow her. So Natasha just says that she follows Carrie Ann Gideon. And then she continued to say, I feel her spirit and my spirit. I feel her authenticity because that's very important. You have to test and try the spirits and I feel her authenticity. Well, as I've shared with you, Carrie Ann Gideon is false, is false. She's not of our Heavenly Father. She, what she does is not for our Heavenly Father and I've already shared um, videos about her. So for Anastasia to say this about Carrie Ann that she, she's tested her spirit this 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 is not the spirit of our heavenly father she has not tested this she's 
it's okay, she can say she's tested the spirit, but it's not the Holy Spirit and it's not of our Heavenly Father Jehovah. Then at the 14th time mark, and um, she said, uh, then she said, and he's, and he's speaking. And when she said he's speaking, she's talking about our Heavenly Father. She said, and he's speaking, he's speaking through his children. Then, and then she, she had that gaze in her eyes when she, and then she had closed her eyes and then she, she swallowed, she had like a deep swallow. I just knew she wasn't genuine when she was, when she was saying that God was speaking and he's speaking through his children as if she was God's child. I did not see, I, I didn't, there, I just knew in the spirit she was not being genuine about that. And then, um, she, then there was another, I could just see that continuous gaze after that, afterwards when she said that. So again, pay attention, just when I'm saying paying attention, seek our Heavenly Father in all truth and sincerity. He He knows the genuineness of your heart. If you really want to know about this Natasha, Natasha Grace, seek our Heavenly Father, go to him and just tell him to truly reveal her to you because he has revealed her to me and he showed it to me in the dream that he sent and the video he sent to me right after that. It was very, very clear. And oh my goodness, thank you Heavenly Father for this reminder. And my apologies, I don't have the date that I'm about to share with you right now, but I had a, whether it was in um, the beginning of this month of July of 2021 or June of 2021, my apologies, I didn't write the date, the date down because I didn't, I didn't realize the importance of this because it was such a quick dream, but I'm going to share that with you now. In that, in, in the dream, I had a dream that I was talking to Natasha and Carrie Ann about salvation. And then the dream ended. So there was a point in time um, recently I asked Father, I said, Heavenly Father, does Natasha know Carrie Ann? And the moment I asked him, he literally brought my spirit back to that dream, reminding me about the dream I was that I was talking to him. So th these two, these two actually know each other. Just want to let you know that. I'm sharing that with you because when I had, that's why I, I didn't even realize the importance of writing that dream down. But this video is about to cut off before it does. I'm just going to say goodbye and I'll